Okay, welcome to my day one Gamescom uh, reactions and uh, recap. Uh, I didn't know when it was gonna end because there was no other live streams. The the streams and videos that I really covered for, for recap so far today is the streams from yesterday, which was Blizzard and EA, aka Electronic Arts. And uh, I ended up missing those streams, so I ended up catching up um, from earlier today and just trying to search for stuff. Didn't really know what the actual live schedule was for any streams or anything like that. So um, the only thing I was aware of is that the Microsoft and Xbox didn't have a, a live stream. Sony didn't have one either. But um, what I gathered was all the games that was announced for today's game one, day one, I said game one, day one. A uh, recap for Gamescom 2016, and uh, I will be checking out tomorrow and see what else they show. Maybe some thing, different things, and maybe I'll have a video out just to talk about it and cover it. But uh, I have everything written here, uh, here in this notebook. All the games and all the little titles. I could be probably missing a couple, but uh, I went through Twitter, uh, Gamescom uh, page via Twitter, uh, Facebook, just refreshing the pages to make sure I didn't miss anything as far as news and all that stuff. But uh, I'm gonna go through everything. It's probably gonna be out of order, but uh, I just gonna I just wrote them down uh, in the order I found them and gathered the games and announcements. So let's jump right in and get started. Uh, first, I heard some news regarding Konami. Konami revealed a new Metal Gear Solid game, and this is kind of crazy because if you're a hardcore Metal Gear Solid fan, uh, I haven't really played any of the games myself, but um, I always watch my friends play them, and uh, I know of them. I know of Solid Saint. Solid Snake and some of the uh, characters in the game, Big Boss and uh, Raiden, uh, and some other characters as well. But uh, Konami revealed a new Metal Gear Solid game called Metal Gear Survive. And basically, this, from what I gathered from this game, is that it's a multiplayer stealth game and it's going to be coming out for 2017. And uh, I guess it's not going to be any story based or campaign mode, it's just going to be multiplayer based and just being able to play against people around the world. But, uh, <coughs> From what I gathered from the, tra the trailer, uh, it, it was as if Snake was departing. I guess it's going to probably be some new characters of all, maybe a new custom character that you can make on your own. You can uh, probably create your own character, or maybe just uh, it'll probably be a new protagonist. So I have that list here in notes, but I don't know what it, uh, exactly this game will be uh, about when it comes to the campaign and the story. If Snake's going to be involved in the story or not, who knows. But uh, this is going to be the very first official Metal Gear game ever since uh, Kojima left and departed and now he's on his own making his own game uh, who joined up with Sony so uh, I forgot the name of his uh, the game that he showed and revealed at yeah, this year's E3 but he's already working on his own game and uh, he now that he's comfortable and uh, now he probably doesn't give a fuck about Konami anymore since he's been treated like shit so but moving on <laughs> Injustice 2 was uh, some news regarding Injustice 2. It's going to be a brand new game. And uh, I know some people are probably fans of Injustice. Some people are asking me if I play Injustice. I'm not too much of a fighting game player, uh, but I know of it. But um, <clears throat> in regards to Injustice 2, uh, Harley Quinn and Dre and Deadshot are going to join the roster for the, uh, the game. And they showed off uh, another character, Blue Beetle, I think his name is. Uh, a match between Blue Beetle and Harley Quinn uh, was shown, so you guys could check that out. I'm sure there's videos of it if you guys look up those games, including the new Metal Gear game, uh, Metal Gear Survive. Um, it was some news regarding Dark Souls 3. There's going to be a brand new DLC, and uh, it's going to be announced August 24th uh, of this year. So uh, if you guys own Dark Souls, if you like Dark Souls and you probably been holding on to it, it's, this is going to be the first DLC for the game. So you guys might want to look out for that date, August 24th for Dark Souls 3, regarding the new DLC for the game. Uh, Saw, Part, Saw Part, The Fragile Behold, this was a, a game I've already seen earlier from E3, some of these other games as well, Dark Souls 3 uh, being one of the newest games and stuff like that. But um, I know that's coming out sometime in December, but um, it was just more footage and gameplay regarding that game. Uh, Gwent the Witcher card game. Uh, Gears of War 4, I guess this was shown at 4K resolution. I don't know, uh, too sure about that, but uh, I didn't really get too much info about this game. But uh, I guess it's some more gameplay footage for, for uh, Gears of War 4. Um, Civilization 6, now this wasn't shown and announced at E3, I don't think, but... Um, I know some other Civilization games, I think it's a PC game, but it's coming out October 21st 
uh, and that's Civilization 6. Now, Resident Evil 7 was shown, and now they show more gameplay. Why is this game in first person? I don't know why, but I feel like it should have been able to, you could pick it. I should have been, it, it doesn't really feel like a Resident Evil game to me, because uh, this is the first Resident Evil game, I think, that's in first person. I think those other uh, Dark Chronicles, and uh, I think, I forgot the name of the other Resident Evil game. That was like a first person uh, arcade style shooter. But uh, this one, uh, it doesn't really require you to use virtual reality or anything like that. So good thing if you are interested in getting the game, maybe you don't like the VR version, you can get the, the one that's not going to require the uh, PlayStation VR. And you can just play it from there. But it's in first person. Uh, yeah, it's scary, but still, I don't like the way that it's in first person. That's just me uh, from playing the other Resident Evil games. Uh, let's see. WWE 2K7 was shown. We already know about that. Pro Evolution Soccer, this was something new. Pro Evolution Soccer 2016. And then more footage for Watch Dogs 2. That was shown for um, E3. But this time around, it was the multiplayer co-op and player versus player um, game mode for Watch Dogs 2. With some more gameplay. Then the other game was Steep. And I didn't, it was basically that, that snowboarding game with the snow. Uh, snowboarding and all types of sports that you can do as, as the winter style setting, uh, winter season and stuff like that. I'm not really interested in Steep. And uh, if you probably like that game, they show more footage of that. But that was just another game I was showing at E3 uh, earlier this year. So um, that's all I really gathered for Gamescom Day 1. And um, I'm probably going to try to see. I, I probably could be missing some things regarding the Game one, Day 1 uh, recap. But uh, I'm sure there's probably some other games that they probably shown that was already announced from E3. Some people, some games are probably there that just probably just doesn't get the spotlight. So like some of these games, like for example, the new Metal Gear game and then Watch Dogs, for example, some of those other games that they already basically shown at this year's E3, like the new Tales game, like that. I was excited for that, but we're not getting that until uh, next year in 2017 sometime. But uh, I think Japan is already getting it very soon for the new Tales of games, since I'm a huge fan of that game. So games like that, for example, are not getting the spotlight and being announced. And then one other thing I could probably tell you guys is the delay of Final Fantasy XV that I heard about. Now, I haven't really played all the Final Fantasy games. My first game was Final Fantasy X. Uh, I don't know what some people think about that, but that was just another thing that I really, uh, I'm late to react to. But uh, I think this was probably a couple of days ago. For Final Fantasy 15, but I, I'm probably not going to be able to get to that anyway because I'm busy trying to play Final Fantasy 7, playing Final Fantasy uh, 9, and some of those other games from um, the older days, from the classic games, back when Final Fantasy used to be uh, good. Most of those Final Fantasy fans would probably say, but I don't know what to think about Final Fantasy 15 because I know it's different, but I feel like they should make a turn based RPG and bring it back to being turn based instead of just having them just run around and just be open world like everything's starting to play like Kingdom Hearts now and what happened to the turn based RPGs that were good back in the old days they need to make another Chrono Trigger and I'm just thinking out loud here when I say that I'd like to see another Chrono Trigger or some of those other games from the past from uh, RPGs uh, Xenogears 2 maybe and then some of those other games from the past from the PlayStation 1 classics but um, I don't think that's gonna happen but that's everything that was covered and shown for game one, day one of Gamescom. So I could be missing some things. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this year's Gamescom in the comments. Uh, feel free to check out my other reaction videos and recap. I'm probably going to check out game, day two tomorrow and see what they show. Maybe some different things and maybe some surprises. But who knows what's going to happen. But uh, thank you guys for watching and for those who have been uh, tuned in. And uh, <coughs> I'll be back tomorrow with uh, Gamescom day two and see what they show next.